coming up on today's Panther Beat. O'Fallon gets political. Your Panther Beat starts right now. Hello, O'Fallon. I'm Alexander. And I'm Shelby. And this is your Panther Beat for Friday, September 7th. The homecoming dance is right around the corner. Are you prepared? Make sure your student fees are paid or you will not be allowed to purchase tickets. If you're bringing a non-OTHS student, pick up a guest form in the main office. Juniors and seniors, the following colleges will be here next week. McKendry, Greenville, Webster, Missouri Baptist, University of Springfield, Illinois College, and the University of Nebraska. Sign up and guided, you must have at least a 2.5 GPA. If you're enrolled in a dual credit class, today is the last day to enroll, enroll for this blue 1818 credit at OTHS. Be sure to turn in your blue permission form. The College and Career Lab is open during the advisory and after school. You'll need your social security number. Do you want to be a tutor for your peers? The guidance department is now taking applications. If you want to be added to the list, pick up a form from the guidance office. Hey Shelby, have you heard of the new political clubs in O'Fallon? No, I haven't, but John Bowling has, and here he is with the scoop. With the recent views in politics strengthening, some students in OTHS have decided to make politically viewed groups. The Young Conservative and Democrat clubs have emerged from the widespread of clubs offered at OTHS. With these clubs attracting lots of members, I asked Ashton Hess, the founder of the Young Conservatives Club, what made him decide to create his club. So I created this club to promote conservative values around our campus and also like generate a healthy discussion with other students that somewhat disagree with us. Um, the club is meant to just promote the values around campus and have everyone in the club know that there are other people around them that think the same way as them. Hannah Carraway, the founding member of the Young Democrats Club, explains why she created her club. So I created Young Democrats Club as really a place for people who are liberal in the school to get together to discuss what we can do to further our community through the ideals we all believe in, which is equality for everyone and really making sure everyone has a place in society. Ryan Anderson, a member from the Young Conservatives Club, explains why he joined. Because I have a, I've been a conservative since 2015 and I've always wanted to see a club here with something I'm interested in. That's why I haven't really joined clubs at all. But then when I saw there was a Young Conservatives Club, I was actually really happy. Ashton Hess now explains how to join Young Conservatives Club. So people can join if you go on our Instagram at O'FallonYCC or our Twitter at O'FallonYCC. You can message us and we'll send you over the papers and then you can get them turned into us. Hannah now explains what activities Young Democrats Club have planned for this year. So we're sort of doing a mix of walking in parades, obviously supporting campaigns, hearing from people who are campaigning, and also in addition a lot of community service activities, like we were thinking about volunteering in soup pantries and stuff like that to really help make our community a better place, not just support what we think. Perfect. Reporting for the Panther Beat, this is John Bowling. Now let's pass it over to the sports desk. Thanks guys, I'm Steven with today's sports. A girls tennis team defeated Mascuto 9-0 yesterday. Leading the way for O'Fallon was Kate Makusko, Emily Fritz, Ellie Mueller, Megan Mueller, Lindsey Miles, and Gabby Scram. Today, our girls volleyball team plays in the Lincoln Tournament, boys golf tees off the Hickory Ridge Challenge, and girls golf team hosts the Lady Panther Invitational. Finally, our football team takes on Francis Howell tonight at home. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, girls golf plays in the Alta Invitational. Our girls tennis team hosts the O'Fallon Quad Tournament, cross country teams run in the Forest Park Invitational, and girls swimming travels to Springfield. Good luck to all our sports teams, and now over to the birthdays. Yo guys, uh, my name is Jaden. Today we're gonna be doing the birthdays. Today we're gonna have Edwin and Bashir, Delaney Hope, and Jacob McGraw, and a special happy birthday to Mrs. McCletchery. Celebrating tomorrow are Christian Blue, Mark Brzezinski, Christopher Erickson, and Alicia Wingrove. Birthdays for Sunday, September 9th are Samuel Becker, Jeremiah Glenn, Joshua Glenn, Connor Clitman, Joshua Novi, Nicholas Novi, Aiden Frickelson, and Sophia Lovelace. That's all for me. Now let's pass it back to the new desk. And now for your club news. FCA meets this Monday from 6.30 to 7.30 in the Smiley Multipurpose Room. All are welcome. Join FCA for food, fun, and fellowship. Young Conservatives, 
T-shirts, news, and applications are due in the main office today. Chemistry clubs meet today after school in room 811. Remember to bring your safety contract. French club meets this Tuesday in room 312. Be sure to pick up applications outside room 312 or at Smiley or at 2404 at Milburn. Enter the club t-shirt design contest. See Madam Grossman for a form. If you're interested in joining Spanish club, the first meeting is today in the Smiley multi-purpose room from 3 to 3.30. The next GSA meeting is Tuesday in room 805 after school. Everyone is welcome. Those interested in the speech and acting team can come practice your event with either Ms. Flowers or Ms. Riley. Practice days are Monday through Thursday. That's it for today, O'Fallon. For more Panther Beat, check us out on YouTube. Just search Panther Beat. Have a good one.